Yeah, I'm not going to start with a whole bunch of long, drawn out, you need this, you need that crap. Working on a 96 Ford Explorer, 5.0, all wheel drive. Haven't had air conditioning in a while. Tried repairing it last year, and the Chinese part <laughs> failed again. Let's see if I can get it to show. The tube that I repaired last year. And you can't see it, but after pressure was put back to it, it started leaking in another spot. This has been replaced before with a Chinese made core. So in order to save myself money, I bought some aluminum rod, followed someone else's good advice on how to actually repair aluminum AC lines, tried it, fixed the spot that was leaking, as soon as pressure went to it, blew out in a different spot. Sometimes you cannot fix Chinese garbage. Now, I don't know if it's going to show up too well, but made in China. 04 behind 2007 so that was made in april 2007 in china i got the truck in january 2010 my brother the previous owner of the truck remembers paying to have this changed yeah he told the guy doing it when they gave him a plethora of options just to do the cheapest option to put air conditioning back in the truck. Well, in 2014, April 2014, matter of fact, I went down to Charlotte, North Carolina. I left Ohio. It was 40 degrees. Now I get into West Virginia. It's 55, getting up to 60. Go through Virginia. It's getting into the 70s. By the time I got to Charlotte... It was 88 degrees, and my AC didn't work. I found that out when I was going through Virginia, and it started getting 78, 79 degrees, and I tried to turn the air conditioning on to keep comfortable because I was wearing a, still wearing a heavy T-shirt. Well, it didn't work. And then I repaired this, and it looks like it may have blown right out right there just past my repair the hole i fixed is under the big uba gooba weld blob why did i leave a big uba gooba gob because it looked thin after i scratched it in so i melted more on top as a cap well <laughs> i didn't cap enough what I really should have done was just ordered the part and only done the repair once. And just while I started my victory dance, because I got me a name brand replacement, I look on the side of the dang box. I don't know if you can read that or not. Hencho in China. So now the Four Seasons unit is made in China too. Also, the wonderful folks at Rock Auto opened up the damn box to put pack material in there. And uh, if there was a diaper kit in here, you know, the diaper pieces and the seals, they either threw them out or they didn't tell you that it doesn't come with them. For those who've never seen the Explorer engine bay without the box in there, you could actually see the motor. 
the hardest part about doing this is fighting that box in and out of that confined space and past those hoses. Maybe it's easier if you have a 4.0 liter with the cam and the block. Maybe. My throttle body and heater hoses are in the way up top. I have to take the oil fill cap off. <laughs> but that's life. Getting this out and playing with it a little bit. Just past my repair, that was so corroded that I just took the edge of a scraper and hit the hole that developed after I'd filled that one. And the aluminum just crumbled into a bigger hole. Um, yeah, it's. pretty much deteriorated material because it was made very thin in China and you see this crimps there those there and that area there is where the orifice tube sits so there's always going to be pressure there if you have charge in your system because it's going through there going through a small orifice and then expanding back out so, if that's weak at all, it's going to blow out right there. <laughs>